Hello, my love. I have a function God would have me fill. That is our lesson today, 192. What does this mean? Actually, we have to let go all false ideas about ourselves. We believe to be a human. We decided for separation and death. And now we decide for the truth. I have only one function. That's forgiveness. And my responsibility, my only responsibility is to accept atonement. What does it mean? To accept my wholeness and holiness as God created me. As had had denied myself. I have not the slightest idea who I am in truth. That's why, brother, I have to step back and trust full-heartedly in the guidance of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, the voice of my Holy Self, given to me by God, is my only guide together with Jesus who has learned all the lessons from him. He is as sure as the Holy Spirit because he is 100% guided by the Holy Spirit. So then I'm safe. But what I have to do, brother, what do you have to do, beautiful, to accept that you are complete now, not in the future, now, nothing but this. I am not a body, I am free. I am the Holy Son of God himself, what you learned yesterday. So my whole function and my only function is not to strive for a good partner, children, house, circumstances, a fulfilling job. No. My only function here is to let go of all the thoughts, to be free of all the burdens I put on my shoulders, to rescue the world. No. To help human beings to function in this world as I did in the past. This does not help, my beloved. It does not at all help. I did not hear. Even as a doctor, as a psychologist, and learned so many therapies and whatnot, and did communication training, mental training, whatever. But when I don't have the truth, when I believe in reincarnation and karma and all that stuff I learned in India, which is not true. When I studied worldly religions, Christian religion, Hindu religion, Buddhism, whatever, that doesn't bring me anywhere. With that, I cannot give anyone anything. So what is the only religion, religio, to reunite, reunite, unite? With what? With whom I truly am in God. Isn't that great? That's my only function. My only function and your only function is to let go of all the faults. And in the dream world, there's not one thought, right? All is faults. So how can I know? I go in the presence. I let go of the past. and expect uh, nothing, but accept everything. And let go and let Holy Spirit and the angels and all the resurrected brothers, the whole heaven, show me now who I am. I am the most, most, most beautiful being beyond time and space. I am the treasure of the Father. I'm the Holy Son of God, beyond the world of form. 
I am fulfilled. I am complete. I am the constant one, the whole and holy one. I don't want to become, I am. I am. So for this, I am who I am, I have to let go 100% the past. Be in the present. Accepting that God, the love is my father, my creator. That he knows who I am. So I let he, him come to me. I open my heart and my mind for my father. For my holy self. So the only aim I have what? To accept who I am. So the whole course is practically a guide to be what I am, created by God, which I share with you, with everyone, with every being, living being. We are sharing one identity. So the true religion is to be what we are. So there is no universal religion, but there is one universal experience. That joy to be joined in the one holy self back home in the Father. So everyone is back home. No one is here in the dream. The dream is only made up by me. All the figures I see, just ideas in my mind, projected out as a veil or a wall against the truth. Panic pictures. The bodies were made to attack. And definitely, I made up those figures in prison, the Christ. Those bodies, those humans, hate me, the maker of them. There is no love in the world of death. Humans don't love. Humans hate. They say they love. But love here is only concern and wanting. No. When I'm concerned about the bodies, when I'm constantly worried, oh, I have to eat healthy, etc., etc., what I'm striving for is this. Nothing. The only aim, or we can say the only goal and certain, is this. This will for sure come. That's the conviction of everyone who believes to be a body. This is terrible. But it's not just a false thinking system. A most, most corruptible and cruel thinking system. And all the laws I made up, they're not real. There's only one law. Love. Love your brother as yourself. How? Accept who you are. That holy unlimited self. Go in the presence. Accept all the gifts of God. Take your brother in the present. Join in the presence with your brother in your mind, equally created as you. Merge with your brother and recognize yourself in your brother. So you cannot love yourself like a navel, navel vision, no. You love yourself in the brother who is part of you and part of God. So loving my brother the projective form I projected out, I let go. I accept the brother one with me and God, equally created. And that is love. And then, merging with the brother in the present, I'm totally happy and totally fulfilled. And I feel the love of God coming through my brother to me 
And the flow of love unites us forever. So when I recognize the Holy Self in everyone, I am fulfilling my function. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And this function makes me constantly fulfilled and happy. As I give, I get. Lesson 192. I have a function God would have me fill. It is your Father's holy will that you complete himself. Because I am a part of him. And that yourself, capital letters, shall be his sacred son. Forever pure as he of love created and in love preserved, extending love, creating in its name, forever one with God and with yourself, the Holy Self. Yet what can such a function mean within a world of envy, hatred and attack? Good question. This world cannot be real, brother. This world of separation we made up is there. Therefore, you have a function in the world in its own terms. For who can understand a language far beyond his simple grasps? Forgiveness repre represents your function here. It is not God's creation, but it is the means by which untruths can be undone. So the whole aim is all the faults I have to let go. But I do not know what is false because I believed in the world as real. So I have to let go with Holy Spirit and look at the reality. Nothing in this world is true. And who would pardon heaven? Yet on earth you need the means to let illusions go. All illusions, all pictures, all mortal forms. Creation merely waits for your return to be acknowledged and not to be complete. Yeah. So the creation hasn't changed. The sonship is still the same. I acknowledge it. Creation cannot even be conceived of in the world. It has no meaning here. Yes. Forgiveness is the closest it can come to us. For being heaven's born, it has no form at all. So I'm the formless. I'm the love and light. Yet God's created one who has the power to translate in form the holy formless. What he makes are dreams, but of a kind so close to waking that the light of day already shines on them, in them. And eyes already opening, behold the joyful sights their offering, offerings contain. So under the guidance of Holy Spirit, we perceive, instead of threat, the Holy Son of God in everyone. And start to love. And for that you have to understand that you made up those figures. You made up out of hate, out of guilt, all those figures, and you let go. And let them be replaced by the Holy Son of God, by the Christ, by the Self. Forgiveness gently looks upon all things unknown in hell, sees them disappear, and leaves the world a clean and unmarked slate on which the word of God can now replace the senseless symbols written there before. So we let this forgiveness to clean the blackboard so that love of forgiveness is a sponge. We clean the blackboard and the word of God is written on it. Forgiveness is a means by which the fear of death is overcome. Because I recognize in everyone there unlimited Holy Son of God, immortal in the God, because it holds no fear, no fierce attraction now and guilt is gone. Forgiveness lets the body be perceived as what it is, a simple teaching aid. Not me, I am the whole, to be laid by when learning is complete. 
but hardly changing him who learns at all. So I'm not a body. I'm not a body. This body is just my handy. I am the whole. There's only me and God. I am the only son of God. The unlimited one. The holy one. God and I are one. I embrace with the Father the whole creation and give everyone everything. The mind without the body cannot make mistakes. Very interesting. The mind without a body cannot make mistakes. It cannot think that it will die, nor be the prey of merciless attack. Anger becomes impossible. So when you don't identify with the body, anger becomes impossible. And there and where is terror then? What fears could still assail those who have lost the source of all attack, the core of anguish and the seed of fear. So we let go of the body and just give it to Holy Spirit and to Jesus. Be guided in the mind by them and we are happy. We are the whole. Only forgiveness can relieve the mind of thinking that the body is its home. Only forgiveness can restore the peace that God intended for his Holy Son. Only forgiveness can persuade the Son to look again upon his holiness. So I am the holy, unlimited Son of God now, where in the Father. So accepting my whole and holiness in the Father. That is my function and to share it with everyone. Beautiful. With anger gone, you will indeed perceive that for Christ's vision, with anger gone, you will indeed perceive that for Christ's vision and the gift of sight, no sacrifice was asked and only pain was lifted from the sick and tortured mind. Yes, I accept who I am. I'm full of joy, I'm the unlimited one, and I'm happy and joy, uh, share that with you. In this, is this welcome? Well, definitely. Is this to be feared? No. Or is this to be hoped for and met with thanks and joyously accepted? Yes. We are one and therefore give up nothing. We are one in God. But we have indeed been given everything by God. That's the main point. God has given me everything. Nothing in the world can give me anything. It's only limiting me. I'm the whole universe. I'm the heaven. And more than heaven cannot be. And this I share with everyone. Yet do we need forgiveness to perceive that this is so. Without this, it's kindly light we grope in darkness, using reason but to justify our rage and our attack. Our understanding is so limited that what we think we understand is but confusion born of error. So I have to let go everything, also the science from the past, every knowledge. Oh, yo, I studied so much <laughs> and all I have to let go. Poof, not easy at the beginning, because you think, oh, so much work I did in this. No, let it go, and let it be transcended by Holy Spirit. We are lost in midst of shifting dreams and fearful thoughts. Our eyes shut tight against the light. Our minds engaged in worshipping what is not there. Worship anything. Anything you value in this world, you made your God. Might it be nice music, like land escape, some kind of sports. This all is limiting me. I am the whole. I made up the hell, the world of death. I played God here. The God of death, the Antichrist. We can say the devil. I invented the ego, but there is no devil, there is no world, it's just a dream. 
It's just a dream, isn't it great? I can let it go. It has no value. Nothing in this world has any value. So with the vision of Christ, I heal the whole world, accepting who I am, accepting everyone to be one with me and God. Who can be born again in Christ but him who has forgiven everyone he sees or thinks of or imagines? Who could be set free but he imprisons anymore? So seeing bodies is imprisoning, is killing. A jailer is not free, for he is bound together with his prisoner. We must be sure that he does not escape. And, and so he spends his time in keeping watch on him. Yes. And when I keep, you know, when I try as a therapist to help the humans, I keep them in a the body. I might want to make them strong in the world. What I do, I imprison them and I'm imprisoned myself. Unhealed healer. The bars that limit his that limit him becomes the world in which his jailer lives along with him. <laughs> it's true. And in its own and it is on his freedom that the way to liberty depends for both of them. So I was at prison, imprisoned myself and imprisoned everyone else and wanted to make everyone happy in, a, in the prison, in the hell. How ridiculous. And the truth is, I am the Holy Son of God. All the treasures are mine. I am the Son of love and life, and you are too. That's the whole healing. <laughs> Therefore hold no one prisoner, no. Release instead of, of bind, for thus you are made free. So see beyond the body, the Holy Son, the Christ, the light. The way is simple, yes. Every time you feel a stab of anger, realize you hold a sword above your head, yes. And it will fa fall or be averted as you choose to be condemned or free. I choose freedom. Thus does each one of you who seems to tempt you to be angry represents your savior from the prison house of death. Very interesting. So when anybody attacks me, actually he is asking for love and forgiveness. And when I give it to him, I see him in the presence as he really is. Therefore, I have to understand that I made up that figure, that I projected my mistakes on him. So I'm only angry because of that. It's always my own. There's no one but me. So I forgive and I'm free with him. And so you owe him thanks instead of pain. This is very, very deep. Yeah. Whew. Be merciful today. The Son of God deserves your mercy. It is he who asks that you accept the way to freedom now. I do. I do. Deny him not. His Father's love for him belongs to you. Father loves everyone. Your function here is on earth is only to forgive him and that you may accept him back as your identity. So I see in you the Holy Self and accept it for myself. He is as God created him, and you are what he is. Yes, everyone is as God he created him. Forgive him now his sins, and you will see that you are one with him. So only when I forgive the mistakes all in you, and you forgive all the mistakes you see in me, we forgive each other, and we recognize the eternal one we are whole and holy, whole and holy, except that you made up the film. There's no one but you, no one but you. Hi. Yes, I'm very happy. I'm very happy there's a way out. 
even though it's, it's not easy, even though I feel again and again the pull from the ego, but the ego always yells first. We made it up as our voice. So what? I step back and ask Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, look on me and show me who I am. And undo all my foresight. From the beginning of time. Forgive everything I made up. And then, with the forgiveness, I see the real world. I'm God's son. Beyond the world of form. The unlimited. How was the exercise you did asking? Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I asked the Father to tell me what is really my task. And it was so tremendously sweet and soft, he explained to me that I never left him, that I'm totally safe from him, that he loves me so much and that I'm the whole, and that I only took a body in order to redeem the world and to undo what I made up. So, in that function, guided by God, we can only be happy. No other way. No other way. We accept our wholeness and uh, enjoy in the present, and only in the present I can meet you. In the present, no past, no planning for the future. Guided by Holy Spirit, I accept my holiness, my wholeness, and share it with you. That's my function, forgiveness. All the force is gone, all my projections are gone, all my mistakes I undo, which I projected on you. That's my function. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Have a beautiful day. And oneness, and practice, practice, practice to get free of all desires in the world and just accept God's gifts, your holy self and share it with everyone. Be happy. Be happy, be happy. In the Father with me. Thank you.